today's video is going to be different. Um, I wanted to get on here for one to show you guys how I do my makeup step by step. I'm just going to talk you guys through it. Forewarning that this video is going to be a little bit long because I don't even plan on editing this all that much because... I just want to get this shit up today and I just really want to talk to you guys and talk about where I've been, why I haven't been posting and all of that. So as a lot of you guys know, um, we have suffered a pretty significant loss in our family. My wife's mom actually passed away and that has been extremely difficult on us. Like, well, for one, we're really young. So my wife is 23 years old and this was completely unexpected. So the emotions and of course if for those of you that kind of know what I'm talking about the grief process it's very it's like a roller coaster some days I'm okay and then other days I just don't even want to get out of bed so I've been kind of on this roller coaster ever since then she did pass away in January this year and we did just recently because my wife is from the Caribbean her mom is all the way on the other side of the world so it was that's been difficult kind of navigating through emotions and then getting shit together and all of that so it has just been difficult as fuck and i apologize to you guys for not posting because i know a lot of you do count on my readings and all of that and of course i love to give you guys messages but if i'm being honest i just like filming a youtube video has literally been the last thing i have wanted to do for probably a month now like i just straight up don't feel like it. I have not been confident. I've been sad, depressed, and you know me, I'm not about to get on here and fake it for some fucking views or some money. I, that's not me. If I'm not in a good place, there is no way I'm about to get on here and give y'all reading. Like I just, I can't. The only energy, and I feel like this is the universe just pulling me back and being like, okay, right now you need to focus on your energy because for those of you that know I'm talking about my empaths and my readers, I know I do read for a lot of other tarot readers as well. Doing readings and like taking on other people's energy really does drain your own sometimes. So right now, I cannot find my damn makeup wipes. Anyway, um, right now, I have just kind of been taking a step back and fo focusing on myself because I have just not been in the mood, if I'm being honest. And you know I'm real with shit. I'm, I'm not about to come on here fake like I'm okay because I'm not. So I am feeling a little bit better now. I do just want to get on here with you guys, have a little bit of fun today because y'all know YouTube is a huge part of my life. I love making the videos for you guys. So I do want to get back into it and getting back to myself because, of course, unfortunately, life just goes on. So I do have to get back to what I do, back to myself, back to my own energy. So me and my wife, I've really just been working through it. But honestly, these past couple weeks, me and my wife have just been holding each other. Like, you know, her being so young, losing our moms is just not something that we think about. So this being so unexpected, it's it's just been so fucking hard. So moving on to a lighter subject, that's just where I've been. Thank you to you guys that have been texting me because a lot of you, I mean, I know not everyone sees my For You page and stuff, but or the community page and stuff, but um, yeah, I did post it on there. Thank you so much for all the messages of condolences. Thank you so much for the people that have texted me. A lot of people have texted my work phone, like, are you okay? How are you doing? I really appreciate that. And then also to the people that have just been patient as fuck with me because honestly, I haven't felt like posting. Like that's, that's the whole reason I haven't fucking felt like it. I haven't felt confident. I haven't done my makeup. I've even let my house go. <laughs> like I've just been in a whole energy. So getting out of it, I feel a lot better now. I have to find these makeup wipes so I can get started. I don't even know if I have any. I need to go look. So first of all, let me show you guys what I got. I did go to Ulta today because, and this is so bad, I have such a problem. But I was thinking last night, like, what the hell is gonna make me feel good, <laughs> gonna make me feel motivated to like do my makeup and get back on camera and like do crazy looks like I used to do. Cause for a lot of you that have followed me for a while, like for two years since I started, uh, I used to do like fun, crazy makeup looks like all the time. And I just like lost my passion for makeup cause makeup is what I do. So like before I did tarot, I was a makeup artist. So I don't know why I've just haven't been doing like my crazy looks and stuff. Cause I absolutely love doing it. I've just been doing more, I mean glam, but like, I haven't done like some colors in a while. So I wanna kinda get back into that. I have all these makeup palettes and shit that I have that I just don't even dip into anymore. So if 
about to get back into that energy. I miss being creative and like enjoying makeup and stuff because I used to just do my makeup for fun. Like literally I would do my makeup just to wash it off because I just love doing it. So I'm trying to get back to that energy as well. Same with tarot too. I just want to, you know, I do tarot because I love it. It has nothing to do with like people buying personal readings and shit. That's why when people get on here talking about like, because y'all know me, I post when I want. I don't give a fuck. I post when I want. <laughs> And people get out here and tell me like, oh, you just do it for views and stuff. I'm like, honey, I do not. Because if I did, I'd post every day. I do it for fun. So I'm just trying to get back into that. I really enjoy your guys' energy. Oh, and by the way, I'm having mimosa. I'll show y'all what I mix together. It's just like, I just mix some cheap shit with some more cheap shit. Fucking this shit right here. And orange juice. Okay, not from concentrate because that shit's nasty. But just mix that together in my little wine glass I got for 10 cents at the, I think it's DMV. No, DAV. Yeah, it's a thrift store. <laughs> so get your mimosa or whatever you got going on. So, first, oh, hello. First thing I do when I do my makeup is I always sanitize my hands. That's super important before you touch your face with anything, be sure you sanitize your hands. Now, I probably should have washed my makeup brushes, but I didn't, so don't judge me. My brushes are dirty. But first, let me show you all what I got. So I did get a new um, face. I was using, well, before this, actually, I was using the um, Anastasia Luminous Foundation. Really liked it, but I ran out, and then I had to go back. Oh, shit go back to this which I loved when I first got it this is the Kat Von D locket foundation I loved it when I first got it but now I don't know and like it could just be because it was like expired or something because I've had it for a minute but like as you can see it's just very thick and like I love a good full coverage but this it just doesn't lay on the skin right for me so I just keep this to like do my wigs and stuff but I will not be putting that on my face so I did go ahead and get a whole bunch of new makeup which back to what I was saying earlier I was like what is gonna make me feel good about myself I'm like maybe I just need to buy some new makeup because like I always get really excited when I get some new makeup so I'll show y'all what I got first I've never tried the Fenty um makeup so I did get the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna, the Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. I did get this one in the color 440. So hopefully this is the right color. I've just been so lazy, y'all. Like even this, I did not go to the in the store and pick out my stuff. I ordered it online and did the curb pickup. <laughs> like I have just been so fucking lazy and my social meter has just gone down like if you're an Aquarius or even a Gemini and comment down below y'all's um sun moon rising I'm always interested to see what people are but I am a sun Aquarius moon Aquarius and a rising Gemini so my social meter like I'm really really social I love people and then it just depletes so I didn't even want to go in the damn store but this is the color mm looking a little light but we'll see hopefully I can make that work um I did also get the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna the instant retouch concealer I got that in the color 345 and I was just going off the colors I saw online so hopefully I can make these work if they don't completely match okay so yeah that's just under eye concealer Good. And then I did also get the Soft Matte Foundation Powder. Because I do like to put a powder over my liquid foundation. Just so it like stays. Packaging super nice by the way. I don't know I didn't show you guys that. Okay. So it just looks like that. Yeah. So hopefully this will all look good on my face. And then I did just get the NYX um, makeup primer because I haven't had a primer in a minute. So decided to just get this one. I don't know how it works. I guess we'll see. Um, comment down below some uh, primers if y'all know of some good ones. Because like, I don't really know. I don't even know if primer does anything. I'm assuming it does. But I did get the Benefit Brow Pomade. I was using the Kylie Brow. And this still has shit in it. <laughs> 
it's super old i don't know i must have just got tired of it and then this i've absolutely used almost all of it i love it the anastasia um dip brow which i love and then i don't know why i bought another brow pomade i just feel like i want to try another one why not so let me give this a try today i've heard a lot of good things about like the benefit brow products so i might guess i'm gonna try this out and then i did get a new eyeliner i've used this before i love this eyeliner but it mine ran out this is in the deepest black the Too faced better than sex eyeliner this looks like this so excited to have that back and then i did get i believe this is a lip pencil yeah this is just like a lip liner i don't know we're gonna try that out the color was really pretty it was only four dollars so then i got this free gift this is a gloss bomb heat by fenty i got it as a free gift for buying this fenty shit so we'll see Ooh, this is pretty okay i like that so is this a gloss yes this is a gloss it's a plumper luminizer and plumper Okay, well, we might use that today, depending on what colors we do. So, yeah, that's what I got. I'm about to jump right in, so I'm going to go ahead and do the primer first. Ew, okay. Weird consistency. I never used this before. It's supposed to be a filler, so filling in your pores. It makes your skin very soft. I like the. I don't know how much of this you're supposed to use. Look how this comes out. I don't know. I usually just have issues here. Here. So, it's so hard for me to like talk and, and like do my makeup <laughs> at the same time. But, do tell me y'all. I don't know about you guys, but Aquarius and Pisces season. For me, personally, are always very difficult. Let alone everything that's happened this year making it extra difficult. But usually, normally... Where did I just put those wipes? Usually, this season is pretty difficult for me anyway. Like... I don't know. It just seems... And I feel like the two signs just being the last of the 12 Zodiac. It's almost like final things are happening. Things are wrapping up. Final lessons things like that so it is always a difficult season Aquarius and Pisces especially if you're not an Aquarius or a Pisces this season can definitely be extra difficult for you guys but just like being in the emotional sign of Pisces it's very hard for me because like my chart is like 90% air so it's like kind of hard for me to navigate through this energy sometimes so that on top of that and already just feeling not in the best place at all has just been so challenging but it's okay because i know you know this is what we need to go through to in order to grow and elevate so i just feel like pisces season is about letting go of control like because the shit that happens you just can't control you just have to know that everything is going to be okay so that's just kind of what i'm trying to do so yeah just dipping into the brow pomade i pretty much just go the i make i make my brows a little thicker because i do have pretty thin brows but i pretty much just go with the shape of my brow with a angled brow brush I used to not have eyebrows. I used to shave them off because it used to be easier for me to like, draw them on. I'm kind of glad that I have eyebrows now because I don't always wear makeup. But yeah. Okay. 
Don't worry if that's not even. We're going to go back and correct that. But yeah, I pretty much just get the shape on with the brow pomade. I do like this, by the way. We'll see how it lasts throughout the day. But it's very smooth putting on. Then I just take some browns and I just use out of the Jeffree Star Orgy palette, I just use these browns down here to fill in my brows as well. Just to kind of set the pomade too. Some concealer, I'm just gonna use my old concealer. The one I was using before is the Tarte Shape Tape, which I really love. But with the Fendi foundation, I did wanna try the Fendi or Fenty um, concealer as well. Plus this shit's running out too, like, I don't know, I just ran out of a lot of shit at once. So I'm like, I'm just gonna buy a lot of makeup. Okay, so pretty much just take this, and this is actually a art brush. <laughs> and I just go in there with the angled brush. I find it easier with an angled brush. And I just clean up the line. Oh yeah, and just kind of clean up the middle. Okay, so that's pretty much how I do my brows. So now what I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put concealer. I just use concealer as an eye base. I don't know if that's the best thing to do, but it works for me. So, just gonna put that on and blend that out with whatever brush. So. Now what I do is, I find this works for me, well, okay, is that I will take a translucent powder, just any translucent loose powder, and I put it, I put it like on my eyes here, just to set that, but also I feel like the translucent powder helps your um, eyeshadows blend a lot easier. And just it looks a lot better. Okay. So yeah, today, maybe let's do, I guess we could do something a little bit smoky today. Okay, so I'm gonna do, first I'm gonna pick out a highlight color. I think I want something shimmery in the crease. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll use this. Okay, so I'm going to use this Cheers Darling Highlighter by Kylie Cosmetics. And I'm just going to put this underneath the brow bone just to highlight. Okay. So, I think, I don't know, just as like a transition color here, I'm going to go ahead and put this into 
my crease and like a lot of the times I'll put like tape just scotch tape right here just to have nothing go over but I don't have any right now so it's okay I think I'm also gonna do, probably just grab a darker brown. And I'll probably end up using like all of these browns. And I'll usually start with the lightest one out of the ones I'm gonna use. And I'll just focus on the outer corner. And then it's good if you have like a clean brush, which I don't know if I do, yeah. And then you could just kind of blend here and make sure everything is blending together very well. Okay, so now I'm going to take an even darker brown and put that in the crease as well. Not taking it up too high. And of course, you can take your clean brush and just blend that in. So, now the color for my base. You're just like the eyelids. I think I'm going to use like a lighter tan color. Maybe this one here. And just kind of blend those two together or just that line kind of blend that through and then if you want to to add a little bit more smokiness you can go in with like black and put it in the corner as well and just blend that so now if you want to which i think i'm going to today i'm going to put bottom eyeliner on I'm going to put a wing. All right, so now after that, I'm just gonna coat my lashes with a mascara. And this is the Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. Pretty sure it's almost out. So of course, using my lashes, I'm going to put on, pop on a pair of lashes. If you guys are interested in uh, purchasing a pair, you can go to jayslashes.com. All of that will be down below. Okay. All right, so I got my lashes on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Max um, Studio Fix Prep from Prime, and like this is also a primer for your face, but also I'm going to just set my eyes real quick as well. Put that on, let that dry. Oops. While that's drying, we'll go ahead and make another mimosa. I did bring all my shit in here. I could just do it. Oh no, no. So now that that's all done. Ooh. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I start with foundation. I do have the Fenty Beauty Foundation brush, but usually I paint this on 
And then I'll just go ahead and go in with my beauty blender to blend it out. Okay. It's a little orange, but I can work with it. And then I keep this on because right now my wig is blonde. So like the foundation, you're getting in your fucking edges and shit. This foundation does, or maybe my skin's just dry right now. I don't know, but that dried pretty quickly. It is very matte. I'll give it that. That could be why it's drier because it is a matte finish. So, so far it feels really good. The only, I mean, I guess it's not a complaint because I did not take the time to go in the store to pick out a color. So it is a little orange, but I probably just picked the wrong color. So, okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the concealer. I think my skin might just be dry right now. But yeah, I do put or use concealer to highlight my face. with a brush first just because I feel like beauty blenders sometimes take up a lot of the product so I do go ahead and pat it in the skin with a brush so sometimes I will go and put in either a translucent powder or um, whatever powder I have to set the face but I don't know if I'm going to do that with this one it doesn't I mean, it's pretty dry already, so I don't think I'm gonna need to do that. Um, I am gonna go in with my Kat Von D. This is just a um, foundation, and this is what I use to contour. So now this is where this powder comes in, the Fenty powder. I was and still am using the Tarte um, face powder for this. So like this works fine, but I did just want to try another one as well. So I'm going to go ahead and powder my whole face with this. to kind of blend everything together. And this does actually have a lot of coverage itself, so I do like that. So I did avoid my highlight as much as I could because I'm gonna go in with a different powder for that. This is just the Kat Von D Locket Face Powder, and this is just a lighter color for the highlight. So I do just go in with a little brush and set my highlight.
So now I'll just go in and blend out my nose contour. I don't really move the lines anywhere. I just blend it out right where it's at, keep it in place. So yeah, that's pretty much it now. I will add some highlight just because I did add highlight underneath my brow bone. So I'll add some highlight today as well. <clears throat> and actually, I think I'm going to spray my face first. Where's that shit? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and spray some of this on there before I do my highlight. Just because, like, when. Um, the skin is wet or your brush is wet. It helps it like show up better. And then you can put like highlight on your nose as well. All right. So, can you, the fuck? I am gonna go ahead and take these off. It's giving me a damn headache. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much the makeup look. Um, Sometimes I feel an extra, I'll put in like some more mascara, just to like make it look. I don't know, make it look a little bit more dark. There we go. Now what I'll do is I'll wipe off the foundation from my lips. Yeah, a lot of people skip this step. I'm not sure why. But yeah, wipe off foundation. Um, usually I just dab a little bit of chapstick on my lips just to bring back the moisture. Okay. And then I guess I'm just going to use this shit. This is super cute. It's a gloss. Ooh, smells good too. Okay. Okay. I like that. Put that in my purse. But yeah, that's pretty much the finished look. Hope you guys like it. Um, I'm gonna spray some Morphe setting spray on as well. I believe in setting spray. This one is really bad about like not spraying out evenly, but I really do like the setting spray. It works very well. So I need to get ready today because I did film the water signs. Of course, it is Pisces season, so I wanted to um, jump back into filming in general, but also I did want to be sure that I started out with Pisces, so I just went ahead and did all the water signs today. Do comment down below what order you want me to post in this week. I already did water signs. Um, that should be up. I mean, if you're watching this video, they should be up as well. Okay, I'm just going to post them all at the same time, but... Um, oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> just post them all at the same time, but... Yeah, comment down below who I should do next. What signs. I think I'm going to do it in elements. Just so I don't forget anybody. Oh. Yeah, I really don't have an order that I do the signs in. I usually just do whatever I'm feeling like. So, yeah, let me know. So, now let's talk about this hair really quick. I did actually get this unit off of Amazon. The vendor... I'm going to have to look it up and put it down below for you guys. 
but I really love this hair. This is 30 inches, 613. I did color the top, like if you see, I did kind of color the top a darker, more honeyish blonde, and then I kept the bottoms the 613 color. So it is kind of an ombre. I do have plans for this. I do think I'm gonna put a lot of colors in it sometime. But for now, I think I'm just gonna rock it blonde. I haven't had blonde hair in a minute. But I really like this wig. Super nice. 30 inches, 180% density. And so far so good. I've had it in for like a week now. I just haven't been doing anything. I haven't taken Instagram pictures or anything like that. So I've had it for a little bit. I do really like it. Took the color very well. Took toning very well. So yeah. I'll fuck with it. I'll fuck with it. A little orange for me, but that's not their fault. It's mine for not properly trying on colors. So yeah, this is the finished look. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thank you to everyone who has just been patient with me. Me and my wife has just have just been going fucking through it, so that's really what's been going on. So yeah, let me know what signs you guys want me to do next. What signs will be up today? So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I am going to start posting makeup videos but they are going to be on my other channel so do be sure you go subscribe to that. The link to that will be down below as well and yeah love you guys. Bye.